Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. What I wanna to do today is show you how to thread the Brother PR1055X. And I've got a few tips that hopefully will help you along your way as you're threading the machine. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do, I do this before I start threading, is make sure that you open up the slider bar at the top. There's a little knob on top. So as you can see, this is open and this is closed. So that's gonna be the first thing that you need to do. So open it up. All right, now I'm using bright orange thread that you can see, but if you notice up here, you can actually see my 10 a little bit better than just being engraved into the metal. So if you look at the next picture, what I've done is I've actually taken a Sharpie and I have colored in where the 10 is at. And I've done that on every one. So if you don't have enough lighting, you'll be able to see your numbers just a little bit better. That's a little tip that might help you see these numbers a little bit better because on this front bar here, you only have one, three, five, six, eight, and 10. And then the rest of the numbers are on this second bar. So if you can see the numbers a little bit better, it might be easier so you don't miss these numbers when you're threading. Now I'm using this bright orange thread and I've taken off the white cotton things here because I find that the thread actually sits flatter. I know when I had them on and they look like this. Okay, so when I had it on here, it wasn't, it was sitting up higher, but I found my thread was getting stuck on these. So I took these off and then I go ahead, I put my thread on. Now that I can see the numbers a little bit better, I'm gonna go through the first hole on 10. Then you'll go through the second hole right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go through the slider bar for number 10. So we've made it through the slider bar. Now we're gonna move to the front of the machine. Okay, so once we have it through our slider up here, we are gonna take our thread and we are gonna come straight down into this bar right here, just like this. Now, this bar right here has a hole for each of your threads. So we want to come from behind just like this and pull our thread through. Whoops. Then we're going to come to, this will be our first one and it has a number 10 on it. You want to slide your thread under it and I will take a picture of that so you can see it. Once you get through here, you're going to come around on the right side and bring your thread under the tension discs, wrap it around one time. And you've got a little arrow that's showing you want to go clockwise. You'll bring it around this spool and you can start pulling it here. And then we're going to come around this spool right here. We have another one of those little holders here. So we're going to put our thread under the holder. Okay. Now take a look at the picture right here.
All right, now that we have our thread through the top, there's two slots for each needle. We're going to go to the slot that corresponds where the thread is coming down, and we're going to bring it up and around, just like that. Now, here's another tip. If you cannot, if you've got your thread in here, let's go ahead and I will put it through the hole right here. If you can't pull your thread like that, you need to check and make sure that it is not caught on this area right here. Now, I actually had that happen. So when I threaded it, it actually stuck right here. And then when I put it up and through here, it, it got caught and I actually started shredding my thread. So when you bring this down, make sure you're bringing it down all the way to pull it up through and then go ahead and, whoops, can't find the end. Put it through the little hole up here, the arm. And then it's gonna go through. Once you get it through there, there is another hole that you will have to put it through right here. Now, for the most part, you are threaded, okay? We just have to thread the needle now, all right? All right, now that we've come down to the threading part, you're gonna use this little gadget here. This is your needle threader, or threader, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to put it on the edge, just like that. Then we're gonna go up and over the bar to thread this portion of the needle, okay? I'll do that again, and I'll also take a picture close up so that you can see, but you're gonna put it on the edge and go up and over. Next, we're going to bring down our needle threader so that we can thread it. Okay, so right now, we just threaded needle 10. But if I were to hit the threading mechanism on here, it's going to come on number one. I need to move it so that it comes on number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that back and I'm gonna click on number 10. So it's gonna move the machine all the way over so that now I can thread number 10. So let's get down there so we can check it out. Okay, so we have our threader down here. We're gonna take our thread and we are going to wrap it under just like this. Pull it up and then bring it up to the top. Oops. Over to the left, so it over to the right, so it cuts off the thread. Okay? I'll do that again. We'll just pull this out. So I'm gonna pull some down. We're going to under. Make sure you get it under this one right here. Pull it up, bring it up, and wrap it to the right. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and hit our threader button. And there we go. Our machine is now threaded. Now, what, what I would do at this point is close your slider bar up on top, okay? Right there, 
we're going to close our slider bar. And you are all ready to do your designs. We are completely threaded all the way to the bottom. Okay, now that is how to thread your machine when you first start, okay? Now what you can do, instead of, let's say you have to change colors, instead of going through all that again, what you can do is, let's say we have our color here on 10, you're gonna pull a generous amount, and then what you're gonna do is snip it. Don't pull it through here this way, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the colors. We'll put on this red one. And then you're going to tie a knot with the top color that you were just using. It's still in there. Now I tie these knots twice. I find it stays much better versus just tying it once and then as I'm pulling it through, it comes apart. So I tie them twice, just like that. And then we're gonna go to the front of the machine. All right, we're at the front of the machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take number 10 out of the needle. And at this point, we're gonna open up our slider bar up on top, and we are going to start to pull that thread. And we're gonna to continue to pull it. And I go slow just to make sure that it doesn't come undone from the red thread we just put on. All right, so you continue to pull it through. And like I said, go gently. You don't want that thread to come undone. You can see it starting to come through here. So we'll pull it all the way down. And then we can go ahead and snip where that orange thread was. Now, what I do with threads is, it's a lot of thread when you have to pull it off. I actually have a container that I use that I put threads in. That way they don't end up on the floor and you're not sucking them up with your vacuum cleaner. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and thread the needle again. Okay, so let me give you a tip. When you are changing threads, make sure that you pull this thread out of the needle, okay, before you start pulling your thread down to bring in the other thread. And the reason why I say that, and I should have waited to cut the thread, is because you don't want to pull that knot through that needle hole, okay? You run the risk of damaging your needle if you're tugging on it to get that knot through. So you don't want to do that, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to thread this needle. I'm going to hit number 10 on my machine and there goes the whole machine. I'm going to go ahead since we don't need our needle threader at this point because our thread is already behind the guide. We'll go ahead and hit the button. Remember you're going to go under and you'll hear a little click from the thread. Bring it up and off to the right and then you can go ahead and finish it that way. All right. Well, I hope this was an informative video for you today. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this content. And as always, I hope you have a great day and happy stitching.